Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is Rusty78609, and I'm just out for a little drive here this morning. And uh, what are we going to talk about? Well, I'll tell you what we're going to talk about. Um, as we go through life, particularly as we get older, you know, there's always options, you know, things you can do differently or things you could change. And, of course, I'm right in that mode now at age 76 because I have the opportunity to build a home here in Capitan, New Mexico, 300 square foot tiny home, so to speak. And that's one option, uh, whether or not that'll come through or not, I don't know. I'm hoping that it does, uh, but we'll see. And then uh, another option is, I have a place in Texas, uh, it's about 480 square foot home and with a cover for an RV with a full hookup and I, I'd just been living in the RV there and not in the house, but it occurred to me that that house in Texas that I have that is a little bit bigger than I need or want, uh, even though it's small, that I can downsize that little house by just eliminating the kitchen pretty much in that just, you know, move, just have the refrigerator and my kitchen stuff in that living area in the uh, in the home that I have there and yeah just make it like a one room deal but or the bedroom and then the living area and the living area would also be the cooking area and so that's kind of where the, where that might be headed it's just a thought but it, it just uh, it's just me reviewing options and I do that a lot why just the kind of guy I am man. I do me you do you and what have we got here? We got some cars on the right hand side of the road here. Wonder what they're doing. Have they got a, a, one of those flick fee lats or do they have one of those incidents? I don't know. Can't tell. Got a lot of helpers. But anyway, so yeah, uh, always look at your options as you're going through your stages in life because you might be surprised what you'll come up with. And then there's always the option I've mentioned a hundred times, do nothing, do nothing. In other words, just for me, that would mean don't sell the house in Texas and don't build a home in New Mexico, just keep the motor home, live in it until whenever I can't, whenever that is. But yeah, we're just, I'm just cruising. So yeah, y'all enjoy the drive. I hope the video doesn't get too jiggly. This is a rough road. This is. 380 that goes to Carrizozo, but it is a pretty drive to me and normally there's not much traffic but today this is a memorial day 2022 i'm not sure when i'll post this video but it's memorial day 2022 which is on a monday and uh, there's a few cars out and about people traveling around some of them are probably trying to find a camping spot in new mexico because all of the national forest are closed in New Mexico are, 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 are severely restricted. There's a lot of restrictions. So camping would be hit and miss no matter where you are if you're going to the National Forest in New Mexico. And I'm eating my dark chocolate almonds and, and also got, <coughs> you like this, the most popular candy bar in the world, I think, is Snickers. Well, they make Snickers and they, they, they're these little bite-sized packages. They're, they're all individually packaged, but they're bite-sized. Well, I was at Dollar General yesterday getting some razor blades, cheapest ones they had, and uh, they had a bag of uh, uh, Snickers, and uh, you know, it was the, the, the date showed to be 2024, and I thought, well, it must be pretty good, so you can't see in the bag, and so I thought, well, I'd take a chance on them. It was like two bucks, and there were, 20 of those little bite-sized pieces in there so that's 10 cents a bite basically and uh, but a candy bar is a little more expensive so with that in mind i got me some bite-sized snickers and that's the end of the snicker story temperature right now outside 69 degrees we're going to be going down the mountain about 800 feet i think or 900 <clears throat> almost a thousand feet actually because I think the elevation of Carrizozo is 5,500 feet and the elevation of Capitan, New Mexico is 6,400 feet. <laughs> so
so pretty close to a thousand but as we go down the mountain or go down the uh, temperature rises accordingly they say that for every thousand feet you go up in elevation the temperature decreases about approximately three degrees I don't know if that's probably close I guess gives you a guide anyway and right now we're averaging 44.2 miles to the gallon in my Chevy Spark 2022 automatic. I like it. This is my tow vehicle for my RV, my Class C motorhome. I tow it on a tow dolly now. You have to get the front wheels off the ground. And somebody asked the question, well, does it record the mileage as you're towing it down the highway? And the answer is no, it does not. The front wheels have to be turning for the mileage to be recorded. <clears throat> so with that in mind, ladies and gentlemen, I've been looking at my options. Which one is the best? Man, I don't know, but I'll do me and you do you and we'll see how all this goes because uh, life is uh, fascinating and it's entertaining. Now, I was thinking this morning, you know, I could take a trip, I could go somewhere in the car and rent a place for a week or so, but because of the uh, campers kind of being driven to do other things, even most of the rentals are packed. You know, apartments, townhouses, condos and stuff. So they're, they're pretty busy also. So with that in mind, I will probably enjoy uh, the summer in Capitan, New Mexico. And we'll see how it goes. So with that in mind, ladies and gentlemen, we'll let it go a little bit. I mean, it's probably jiggling a little bit. I'm looking at it. It might be a little jiggly. Uh, but this road, if you could see uh, how bad it is, you would know why it's jiggling a little bit. It gets a little better up here uh, when we cross over into another county. No, no, we stay in Lincoln County, but they did some, uh, improve, improve the highway a little further up here. Not much, but a little bit. And I'm just taking my morning drive, guys. I do this pretty much every single day. Why? Well, it kind of puts a little variety in the day. Uh, every time I go somewhere, I notice something different. And uh, yeah, oh, I also got, I think I about mentioned, I got the uh, Hyundai sold for sure. I mean, the people that are buying it, you know, they, 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 they want to pick it up on the 10th but they gave me a 50% deposit in cash. Yeah, yeah. So that's a, that's a good start. That, that'll get my attention. But yeah, this is a pretty drive. I enjoy this. I enjoy seeing the mountains. And uh, there was a little smoke smell in the air this morning because the wind is out of the, almost the due west and east of us uh, near the Gila, or in the Gila, uh, National Forest area. I think there's a big forest fire there that's been going on for a few weeks. <clears throat> They've got it about 50% under control, they say. But the winds have been just really gusty and high and dry. So, just another old rusty rambling video. For you RVers out there, take a few days and sit and think about your options don't get too frustrated and say well we're going to quit this because if you quit what you're doing RV and what are you going to do think about that you're going to buy you a house at a time when housing prices are as high as they've ever been in a long time lumber prices have come down you might be able to build you something if you can find a place to put it. I do recommend for RVers, uh, full-timers, part-timers, well, full-timers, uh, have a home base or, you know, have you a place that you can hang your hat because you'll get into periods like this where gasoline prices go through the ceiling and gets crowded and it's, it, you know, th there's a backlog of RVs now in the billions of dollars waiting to be built you know you have to wait nearly a year to get an rv even now so they're, they're not slowing down they're going 
bum out walking the dog. Here we come into the high desert up here. This is Carrozozo, New Mexico area, and uh, it is just barren. And we came out of what we caught, what would almost be the uh, forested area. That was mainly juniper. And then we get up just right around this corner here. It's just, just going to be pretty barren. But I'm just cruising to keep from snoozing. Glad I got the car sold. That's one thing I can check off my list. And uh, probably in the next 10 days, I'll be able to check off the building a home in Capitan. Either the switch will be on or the switch will be off. The positive part of it is lumber prices are down now. Would be it's a pretty good time to start uh, building a home. And I own my place, so that's a good start. And uh, but do I want to build? Do I want to go through the building process? I've been through it several times. There's no way that it cannot be frustrating, uh, even in the best of times. But in a period like we're in now, where there's shortages of windows and doors and certain type of roofing and siding and all that stuff, uh, it probably will, could be, could be. I'm not going to think negative, but just be prepared mentally for the normal building a home frustrations. Fortunately, I don't have to pick out anything on the inside, you know, like wall coverings and countertops and, you know, and all that stuff and light fixtures. See, whenever you build a bigger home, that's part of the headache is the wife, if you're married, wants product A, you want product B, and that's end of marriage C. So, there ahead, ladies and gentlemen, lies the high desert area near Carrizozo, New Mexico. Another thing I'll point out, there's a town north of Carrizozo. I don't recall the name of it all, I mean, I think it's about 50 miles north of Carrizozo. It's a small community, 300 people or so, not much. But they are building, as we speak, and have been for years, the largest wind turbine area in the United States. Yeah, but guess what? All that power is not going to New Mexico, it's going to California and other places. So, that's not right, is it? Because the rates in uh, New Mexico, in the area I'm in, through Otero Electric, are going to go up considerably because they get their power from natural gas-fired plants and coal-fired, and coal has doubled, and natural gas has tripled. So that will translate into higher prices for all of us in this area. So ladies and gentlemen, I'll, end, I'll put this, I'll shoot this horse and put it out of its misery. It's kind of got a broken leg. I used to do that, you know. If you turn left here, you go to Ruidoso, which means noisy water. And 37 is straight down, if you look at that sign. But having said that, ladies and gentlemen, from Capitan, New Mexico, on a nice, nice day. It shows to be 71 degrees right now, and it's 10, 19. This is Rusty78609 saying thumbs up, carpe diem, adios, bye bye, buy anything you want anytime. But if you think about it, use the link to Amazon products in the description of all of my videos. Why? Doesn't cost you a penny. Just drink plenty of water, keep your health, think positive, try to enjoy your life. Adios, amigos, bye bye.